Hey gamers, game with Melko here, bringing you another Clash Royale deck spotlight video. This guy is going to be showing you my undefeated Goblin Gang deck. That's right guys, my undefeated Goblin Gang deck. Yeah, he's been performing exceptionally well for me in, I think it's gone one, two, three, four, five, five, six straight victories now. So overall, uh, very, very good. Now we've taken on Royal Giants, we've taken out Goblins. We've taken out golems, we've had elite barbs, we've had sparkies in there, etc, etc. And this deck has continued to perform exceptionally well. So, let's have a look at the deck and see why it's performing so well. So this is the deck that we've been utilising. It consists of the Goblin Barrel, the Minion Horde, the Log, the Goblin Gang. Now, as you can see guys, I still only have the Goblin Gang to level 8, but it is still performing exceptionally well at that level. We have the Fireball, we have the Furnace, we have the Princess, and we have the Elite Barbarians. So I say guys, as you can see, this deck has been performing exceptionally well in both tournaments and outside of tournaments as well. So let's kick it off and we will have a look at which replay shall we go through? We will have a look at this 3-0 replay here against Simon Barry. I say guys, this deck is really, really fun to play. Our opponent is obviously running a similar armor to ours, uh, or s some similar cards to ours as well, shall I say. So let's stick it off by getting the Furnace down on the field. Now, I do love the Furnace. I think it's a fantastically versatile card. It's great at just doing that chip damage against your opponents, and it's also fantastic as well as doing chip damage against that tower as well. So our opponent drops down that Musketeer, so I'm going to drop down my Elite Barbs on top of that Musketeer to take it out as quickly as possible. Now, I did send in that Goblin Barrel. Now, the Furnace was able to take out some of that Skeleton Hood, and they was able to, that uh, Goblin was able to do a bit of chip damage to that tower. Now, as you can see, I threw the log there. <laughs> Poor placement. Oh dear. But we was able to obviously counteract that attack. Now, our opponent has dropped down his archers to try and take down this minion horde. But we are going to get some damage off on this tower here. Taking it all the way down to just under 1400. So, we're going to drop the uh, goblin gang here to try and take out this hog rider. But a well placed zap spell there did put paid to that. So, at this point, we do have a slight lead. And we do have the Furnace down on the field, which our opponent is yet to obviously put down. Now, I always like to fireball a tower and a musketeer, but I was a bit slow on the uptake there. So I'm just going to wait for my elixir to build back up. And then I'm going to drop the princess down in the back here. And then I'm going to drop those elite barbarians down on that musketeer's head. Now, our opponent is obviously going to counteract that with his own. I thought he was going to drop the skeleton horde. So I dropped the log in anticipation. Obviously, I was wrong there. So the elite barbs do manage to get one hit off on that tower, but unfortunately those archers then take out my lovely little princess. So at this point guys, we are just waiting for that elixir to build back up before we decide on how we're going to push. We're going to go with a goblin gang and goblin barrel attack on that there. As you can see, the goblin barrel was able to get all the way down, so we dropped the furnace to lure over this hog rider, and then we dropped the princess down as well, utilizing the log to take out that horde. So at this point guys, we've got the tower down to 211 at this point, we are looking very comfortable here. We're going to drop down the elite barbarians behind the princess, on the, sorry, on the opposite side of the field because we knew we going to take that tower. And it's at this point our opponents realise that it's game over. So in goes, the hog in goes the hog rider, in goes the goblin gang, the elite barbs and all the other troops just to finish that crown tower very quickly. Overall, a solid victory guys with this deck. We had an interesting 2-1 victory here as well against an opponent that had the level 4 golem and they also had the goblin barrel themselves. This was a very interesting battle to say the least. I would like to say the opponent wishes a good luck for some reason I didn't seem to put my good luck up. Oh there we go. Whew. Bit concerned there. <laughs> now with this deck as you can see I did have the tornado. tornado. I don't know what it's called now. Oh dear. Sorry, let's just uh, cancel out that one. That was uh, one before I had a slightly different deck. This is the one that we wanted to... Because I obviously put the fireball in because it was much more effective. 
than the Tornado. I just wasn't happy with the card working out for me. So I was going to watch this one instead. So this was a nice little victory again with a completely different type of deck against what I was playing. Now, I didn't want to just waste Elixir, so I put the Princess down and the Goblin Bow to see how our opponent was going to counter it. Now, he obviously dropped down his Mini Pekka and his Goblins. So down goes our Goblin Gang on defense here, which was able to soak up the majority of that damage there very quickly now we are slightly ahead at this point because of that so we're just going to wait to see what our opponent does now we do have our elite barbs which we're going to push so we're going to drop it straight on that level six hog rider's head now we've got that we're going to drop down the furnace as well and our opponent drops down his fast spirits and a zap but our elite barb is able to still get to that tower taking it all the way down to 800 hp that mini pecker is obviously going to destroy that furnace but our minion horde is going to go for this tower but our opponent is then going to fireball so at this point guys we are in a comfortable lead at this point so i'm just going to goblin bow thinking our opponent was slightly lower on elixir than he was doing a bit of damage getting that tower down to four nine six so we're going to now drop our princess in the back to take out all these troops because splash damage will work wonders against them our opponent does decide to zap our princess but obviously not high enough level to kill her at this point. So we're going to drop down our elite barbs again here to go for a push. Our opponent drops down his mini pecker. Luckily our princess is going to do the bulk of the damage to that tower. As well as that elite barb finishing it off there just like that. So we're going to start a push down the opposite side now. While we wait for our elixir to build back up by dropping that furnace. Our goblin gang is going to take out this hog rider. Now, poor placement really, because I wanted to pull them over to the other side, but oh well, just one of those things. They're going to do a bit of damage to that tower, as well as obviously distracting those minions. So we've got the Goblin Barrel ready, which we're going to drop, and then we're going to drop the Princess in the back as well. Trying to do as much damage to that tower as we can. We drop the Elite Barbs in the middle, unfortunately one pulls off there to obviously take out those Goblins, but the other one is able to get the tower down to just over 900 HP. Now, I'm not too worried about that Hog Rider. I'm going to continue to obviously push down this right-hand side. I know I'm going to lose this tower, but my whole point is to take the opposite tower. So he zaps the Goblin Gang again, and in goes the Goblin Barrel, as well as that lovely Princess. That Furnace there was able to save that uh, Princess just like that. And in goes those Elite Barbs to take out that tower. So it's maritime, can we try and push to get the crown tower? Unfortunately, we're not quite able to do that. A well-placed sap there, unfortunately, did put paid to that with five seconds left. But we had a good go at getting the tower down, getting it all the way down to 784. So nonetheless, it was a good effort. And that's the Goblin Gang, guys. It's so good on both offense and defense. It really is. On offense, you've got the Goblin Gang to support the Elite Barbarians. The Princess there is obviously to take out those hordes, same as the Log. You need the Fireball for that bit of direct damage. I hate it when I don't have direct damage in my deck. It really does wind me up. I said use the Goblin Gang on defense and then allow them to push onto offense. You've got the Minion Horde again for defense to push to offense to support the Elite Barbarians. So guys, that's the deck. It's the Goblin Barrel. The Minion Horde, the Log, the Goblin Gang, the Fireball, the Furnace, the Princess, and the Elite Barbarians. So guys, that's it from me. If you like what you see, comment below, let me know. If you've not subscribed, guys, do me a massive favour and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you gamers next time. Take care.